It doesn't seem to be working. Mitsa filing cabinet. Insert three reports from the Blotron 3000, Fingertron 3000 and Facetron 3000 into the Arrestron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. Odd. It seems to be missing a tube. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Looks like an old receipt. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's a TX1138 tube, in perfect condition. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal.
Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. It's a stub from a check that Uncle Chuck wrote. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. Diggin'! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Just down the hall is the big staircase. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Stop bothering Chucky. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Hey, Lenny. Long time no see. Screw you, Dolores. You know I hate it when you call me that. If you just came here to piss me off, then leave. Because we both know there's not a snowball's chance you were left anything good in the will. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr., because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. And just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now, because it feels like a flippin' eternity. I think we're done here. 
Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, stop bothering Peter. That's the country road.